One of the commenters on YouTube suggested that I should make an IPv6 subnet calculator. So here it is. The basics are this, okay? We want to see how the subnet changes if we change basically the network prefix. So you can see here right now the network prefix length is slash 64. And that means that the network is basically the first four hextets. Now in the first four hextets, this fourth hextet right here, this is the subnetting hextet. So this is where you would actually, you could do something different. You could say slash 64, or maybe you could do slash 60 or slash 56, or if you really wanted to get tricky and confused, then you could do slash 61, 62, 58, something that's not on a four bit um, boundary. And I'll show you what I mean. So right now, if the network prefix is slash 64, then it's pretty easy. We and the IPv6 address here with the network prefix length, which is basically, this is a decimal number indicating that the first 64 bits are all ones. And so we would and the top number with the bottom number and we would get the network right here. And you can see that it's very simple. If it's slash 64, then it's the 2001 0 db 8 fffff 22 bb network. And all zeros here and it's slash 64. And then you can see it here as well the IPv6 address and the IPv6 network. Now what, what's different is when you start subnetting in this hextet. If you start changing the, the network prefix here, then things change. In other words, you could change it to, I'm gonna change it here in the calculator here, I'm gonna change it to FFF0. So now, instead of slash 64, it's slash 60. Now this makes it pretty easy because now everything is still on a four bit boundary. In other words, if we look here, the network prefix length, there's 16 bits, 32, 48, but you can see here, now instead of 64 bits, I moved it over four bits, so it's slash 60. So now it's the 2001 0db8 FFFF 22b0 network. So it basically falls on the boundary of the hexadecimal characters. So instead of a 22BB network, it's a 22B0 network. And you can see that reflected here, that if you had slash 60 and this was your address, then you would be on the 22B0 network. Now what gets really funky and is pretty confusing in IPv6 is, what if you didn't follow that pattern? What if I added a one here and instead of slash 60, it was slash 61. So I could show you how we could do that here. So I'll change this to slash 61, and this is where it gets weird. Slash 61, slash 61, and then down here to convert this and add one bit here, I say FFF here, I'm gonna change the zero to an eight. And then I've got conversion that converts it. So now you can see that the network prefix length is 16 bits, 32 bits, 48, and then all the way up to 61 bits. But now what's interesting is that if this is your IPv6 address, right, 22BB here, you're on the 22B8 network because the network prefix here is in the middle of this B average, uh, B address, or this B character. So right here in this B, right here, the the network prefix ends within the middle of B. So it's hard to it's hard to figure out. You have to you almost have to convert it to binary to figure out what the network would be. And so that's that's curious. So you can see here that right now it changes from a 60 to a 61, the network prefix, and this is right in the middle of this B character, and so it turns out that the network is actually at eight, and you can see here converted B to eight. If I convert, if I talk about this problem a notepad, it's basically this, right? This is what it was like with slash 64. The network goes all the way up here, and everything's cool. So if you had 22 BB, that's the 22 BB network. If you change this to a C, it's the 22 BC network. 
the 22B8 number, whatever it is here, that's the subnet, right? If you go to slash 60, it's also easy because the network boundary moves over four bits and it moves over cleanly across one hex character. So it's the 2001 0db8 ed2122b network or 22b subnet or the c subnet or the d subnet or the one subnet or the zero one subnet right so it, it wouldn't matter however if it's slash 61 all of a sudden the network prefix is right in the middle of this character. It's right in the middle of this character. So if we had a B here, right, in 2001 0db8 ed20 22bb, right, the the network prefix length is in the middle of this B, right? In other words, we've got, you know, 4 8 12 16 all these bits going up all the way to this bit right here, 61. So, well, this is, falls on the 8. So it turns out that if this is if this is where the prefix ends, that if you're on, if this is the address, it's actually the 22B8 subnet. In the next video, I will basically take it from this subnet calculator and we'll start with the beginning and I'll show you how to put in the formulas that will automatically calculate the network based on what you put in here. And so that will be in the next video. And then it's pretty cool because you can change the mask here, you change it here, and then it will change automatically what the, what the network is for you. It'll calculate that if this was the address, then this would be the network.